أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جوز عما سورة النبا آية نمبر 4 and 5 repeat after me بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلا 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 سيعلمون 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 آية نمبر 5 ثم 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 كلا ثم كلا ثم كلا ثم كلا سيعلمون 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 important point here in the ayah for كلا in this word there is shadda on lam so we are going to read it two times once with the previous letter and another time with itself kalla like this and then also there is alif and before alif there is fatha which means that it is alif madda so we are going to extend it as in we are going to read it extending it kalla like this we are going to extend it for about two counts as in two harata as in one alif. Kalla, like this. And then in the word, sayya'lamun. Of course, on seen and ya, there is fatha. So we are going to read it lightly and uh, quickly because it is haraka. And then on lam, there is sukun. Uh, so we are going to read it with the previous word, which is ya. Sayya, like this. And then also make sure to pronounce the ayn properly. It is pronounced from the middle throat. Sayya'lamun. Like this. Make sure you remember that and pronounce it from the middle, middle throat. Sayya'lamun. Like this. And then on lam there is fatha. So we are going to read it quickly because it is haraka. Lam is mutaharrik now. And then... Here, wow, sakin is there, as in on wow, there is sukun. And before that, there is bamma, which means that it is wow madda. So we are going to extend it for about two counts, as in two haraka, or you can say it as one alif. Sayya'lamun, like this. But because it is in the end of the ayah, we can also extend it for about four counts. Why? Because it is in the end of the ayah. Now, next Fifth ayat, important points. Here there is another word here, extra word, which is thumma. 
It was not in the fourth ayah. Thum, in this word, make sure to pronounce the tha properly. It is pronounced very softly and very lightly. Thum, like this. And then on meme, there is shadda, as in tajdeed. And because on meme, whenever there is shadda, we are going to read it. We are going to apply the rule of gunna here. And we are going to read it with a nasal sound, as in sum, like this. And then next, kal, as the previous ayah, uh, it was also there. Kal, here we are going to read the kaf quickly because it is harakah, mutaharik. Lam, there is shadda, so we are going to read it two times with the previous letter and also with itself. Like this, and there is also alif, and before the alif, there is fatha here, as in alif madda. So we are going to extend it for about two counts, as in two haraka. And again, in the last word, which is saya alamun, here there is seen and ya, and on seen and ya, there is fatha present, which means that it is haraka mutaharik. So we are going to read it quickly because it is from haraka. And then ayn, here again, you are going to make sure to pronounce the ayn properly. It is pronounced from the middle throat. And also on ayn, there is sukoon as in jazm. So we are going to read it together with the previous letter, which is ya. Sayar, sayar, like this. And then lastly, here on lam, there is fatha. Of course, it is haraka. So we are going to read it quickly as it is mutaharik. And then lastly, here on vow sakin, there is vow sakin. And before that, there is bamma. So it is vow madda. We are going to extend it for about two counts. But because it is in the end of the ayah, we can extend it for about four counts as in four haraka. Now, let us revise. Let us uh, re recite this again. Repeat after me. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kalla saya alamun. Kalla saya alamun. كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون. Now both the ayahs together. كلا سيعلمون. ثم كلا سيعلمون. كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون الحمد لله This was جوز عما سورة النبا آية نمبر 4 and 5 جزاكم الله خيرا كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته